Alright, YouTube. Got something a little new here. Something different now. Here we go. Well, the battery's just gone dead. Anyway, um, here's what we got. There's what we got. We got a little RC helicopter. Batteries has gotten weak now. They're not uh, not working like they should. As you can tell, batteries are weak. I might be able to get it to idle. Let me see. There you go. You got a rear rudder. It's, batteries are dead right now. I'll have to shoot a video of it actually flying later. But uh, it's one of them little remote controlled helicopters. Um, it's not like a drone or anything because I don't. The drone I want, I don't really want to get because I'm afraid I'd wreck it. Um, this is actually just a regular helicopter um, from Real King. It has, let me turn this off. It has, Air Hogs makes these and another company makes these. And a lot of the ones I've seen, and I've had the other type, is your throttle is spring loaded. So if you push it up, you let it go, it snaps back. This one is you can probably see you can put it at full wherever you want and it stays now of course your forward your aft your starboard or your port and starboard and your 360 range is spring loaded because well you don't want to lock it forward all the time um, it takes this takes six double A's that has a rechargeable you can charge it two ways and from experience charging it charging it this way on the little I ain't gonna focus I don't know why this camera don't focus but uh, charging it this way isn't uh, oh it ain't the best it runs the batteries down in this pretty quick there is a USB charger that you can plug the helicopter into and charge it. <coughs> it takes 40, anywhere between 40 to 50 minutes. I can get it charged in 30, I found out. And I could play with it for about 20 to 30 minutes. I mean, some of the drones I looked at, one I looked at that I was wanting to get, you charged it for, uh, I think it was like two or three hours and played with it for 10 minutes that was it it did have onboard camera so it's technically a drone and not a quadcopter uh, a lot of people's been saying oh well i got a drone it's not a drone it's a quadcopter a drone has a camera a quadcopter don't quadcopters four rotor blades on a frame that flies through the air Whereas a drone has a camera mounted to it. Basically, you mount the camera to a quadcopter, you turn it into a drone. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, um, I know I haven't made any videos in a while. The reason for that is that I had injured my leg. As you can see, my pants have been fixed. I injured my leg with a, with a saw and, uh, then I'll need rice for two weeks without any movement of my leg. Some people may have been wondering about the Super Snapper. Super Snapper did get put back together that night. After the camera died, I finished it. I packed, I don't know if it's in the video or not, but I packed it with a, with a heavy duty grease. Packed everything in it, all the bushings and everything was packed. The chain was packed tight with grease. And I've mowed with it a few times, pulled the wagon around it. It does pretty good. It's not loud. It doesn't break or nothing. It's pretty decent. 
I am going to put a gasket in it and most likely pump grease into it. So that's because it won't hold oil. Uh, the seals are non-existent in that thing anymore. And uh, I could probably get seals, but I don't really feel like tearing it into that much. But uh, another thing is, is uh, this camera I'm using, the Polaroid um, I-835, the I-835 Polaroid that I'm using, uh, it likes to use batteries. And I can tell you right now, the dollar store batteries, these, these batteries right here, boy this camera does not focus at all for you guys. Well, anyway, they are the Alkaline, God, the DG brand, or DG Home Alkaline. Uh, they last probably 30 minutes of continuous video. And I left the camera out in the car last night with um, Rayovac Rechargeables. Um... I left it out there for overnight. It got down to about probably 34, 35 degrees Fahrenheit. For you uh, Canadians and outside the U.S. on the Celsius side, I think that's about 2 or 3 degrees Celsius. Somewhere around in there. Because I know 0 Celsius is 32 degrees Fahrenheit. So 2 or 3 degrees Celsius are 34 degrees Fahrenheit. Um... They went. They lost half their charge in the cold, but the camera seems to not be draining them as fast, which is good. Um, um, other stuff that's going on, the scooter will be winterized. Uh, there will be a truck video coming in soon. Since I got the rechargeable batteries, I can set the camera up and show you guys that. Uh, had a little problem with the Ranger. The... Uh, Oh, uh, the uh, fuel line broke at the gas tank. Didn't break. It got a hole in it somehow. Um, you can't replace the fuel line. Nobody sells it. Uh, but I can get a fuel line repair kit and repair the fuel line right there. It's only about that much of it I had to cut out. But anyways, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. All right, guys. There's the charger. Rayovac AA, AAA charger. Charges four at once. Um, it has a little countdown on it that says when it's going to be charged. There's the batteries. Um, basically, you just plug it in and it charges them. Uh, the batteries weren't completely dead, but I guess it can go up to eight hours if they are. Anyways... I'll cut this in, and don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.